Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of cuff hematoma. This is a common case when you deal with the patients having thrombolytic or antiplatelet therapies, especially in cardiac units. A 68-year-old male patient came with left cuff pain and swelling. He had a history of antiplatelet therapy and the patient was scanned in a cardiac specialized hospital. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the cuff region of the leg. You see a heterogeneous oval area with high frequency linear transducer. It is situated within the gastrocnemius muscle. You can see the lesion is heterogeneous with different echogenicities. Some areas are echogenic and some are hypotoanechoic. It indicates the bleeding of different time. The echogenic areas indicate acute bleeding and the hypotoanechoic areas indicate subacute type. The patient was receiving antiplatelet therapy for his cardiac problem and suddenly this swelling developed. Here is the picture. You can see the heterogeneous collection at the posterior aspect of the leg within the gastrocnemius muscle indicating hematoma. Again another picture of the hematoma containing blood products of variable ages. Here is a panoramic view showing the hematoma. This is the gastrocnemius muscle. The lesion is around 6 by 3 cm. We have put color Doppler. There was no flow as this is a concealed blood. If there is any active bleeding occurring, you may see some flow there. So, in summary, a well defined oval heterogeneous area is seen within the gastrocnemius muscle indicating cuff hematoma. Now the take home message. Hematoma will change its echogenicity from hyperechoic to anechoic with time. So in confusing cases, follow up scans may help. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to visit imagingstudy.com to get many different cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.